what I proposed initially to the organizers is an event, a daily event that we could schedule at some moment of the day and have the IT and people together. What I propose is first a very quick round table so that everybody knows who is everybody. So if you can please introduce yourself and just say in a few words what's your involvement in uh, IT and in uh, Debian or outside Debian, whatever you want. First start with Eddie. Hi, my name is Eddie Petrichot. Um, I've been involved in Debian for three years, which of those, all of them related to IATN, but lately I have been doing other stuff. Um, I've been involved in localization in Romania, and recently I've started working on things like uh, improving the IATN infrastructure. I just created some first in version of scripts which create some compendiums for the translations for all languages and uh, well, these kind of things, just trying to make things better for, for especially for us Romanians, we don't care about the others. <laughs> okay, so you won't speak anymore. So now. <laughs> Hi, I'm Cesar, I work for the regional government of Extremadura and I do localization in Spanish and I have been also organizing the the Debian World Sessions of Extremadura last year and we have also a server that we will maybe use in the future. Sure. The main we are always in the future. And we are hosting it in Extremadura too. Honda? Hello, my name is Gerfried Fox. Um, people might know me as Arfi or more recently as Rhonda. Um, I'm working on a German translation team, or rather I worked quite a lot. Uh, at, when, when I got involved into Debian, there uh, wasn't really a team around. The website was mainly neglected, so I translated quite a lot of stuff and did lots of stuff in that case. I also got involved a bit into upstream translation of some packages and we have a rather healthy team in the German translation part which works quite well so I took more or less a step back and um, it doesn't mean that I'm not interested in translation anymore I'm just wanting to find a new spot for me in that area we will. So I'm rather liking to work on internationalization issues more than on localization, real translation work. My name is Leo Kaplan. I'm from Israel and I work on Hebrew support. I'm a member of the Debian Hebrew team and we work mainly on packaging Hebrew related stuff and not on translation. Um, about a year ago also started a Debian Arabic group to fix also their problems, especially packages like fonts and ASPEL board lists and stuff which they didn't have. Uh, and there are a few other languages which, uh, which ask to be on that group like Farsi from Iran and Kurdish and language which are similar to Arabic and um, I hope to have a few other languages here. Hi everyone, my name is Yuelen and three reasons why I was here. The first one is um, because I sometimes, apart from my academic work, um, I collect news from um, for the Linux magazine and obviously the IATM and various different distributions uh, are the main sources for my job, so I come here to do some networking and so if you have any job and you like to have some publicity for your work and I can put it in the Linux magazine. And secondly, um, it's about my 
own interest because I was from Taiwan and I was using um, Zenian and now Ubuntu. And the font and the different translation for the Taiwanese version of Linux is very problematic because our, and sometimes it is even very political as well, it's not just technical things. And so I'm here to, to hear about how these font and how standards are made and how can we improve that and maybe report to my friends in Taiwan who unfortunately can't be here because of their job and various reasons. And so, and the third reason is because of my academic job, I, I do work for, um, to look at the development process and particularly on um, user issues and um, requirement analysis. And so I thought I'd come here to do some field work and just to, to understand how people discuss things and how they, how actually participatory design and user-oriented design can be put together. And so. All right, <coughs> so I'm Nicholas Fanger, um, and I'm here uh, because I've, I've been looking on the uh, INN uh, mail list for, for a little while. I'm very interested in uh, seeing how fonts can interact and, and serve the, the needs of uh, internationalization and localization in the Dublin and, and other projects. I'm uh, involved with the um, fonts uh, team in Elliot. I'm a volunteer for uh, SL International uh, and uh, we do things uh, around fonts and input methods and writing systems. Uh, I'm also a member of the Open Font Library. And there will be a talk later on on open fonts and what's happening there and where we can go and where uh, things can go. Also, we, we're really hoping uh, we have a good collaboration with uh, other teams so uh, that more locales can be uh, activated uh, uh, in the installer, uh, uh, that more translators can work on other uh, locales. So, yeah, that's my thing. Yeah, I'm Daniel Glassy. Yeah, I have a package a li library called Graphite uh, that will help, help, help for displaying uh, <coughs> uh, the script, scripts of mi mi minority languages. Yeah, and I also have yeah, g g general interests in IAT now. Thanks, Daniel. Yeah. Felipe. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm Felipe on IRC Uli Fall. Uh, I've been involved in Debian since 2002, especially with translation in 2002. I'm coordinator of the Brazilian Portuguese translator team, uh, and I've been the part of the IETN admin team for the server that's extremely late for us. Uh, I'm also working on a little trying to merge the DDP inside Pluto uh, and other stuff inside Pluto and. Uh, that's that's mainly with translations. Thanks. I'm Luciano, and I'm just another Debian package. Just, just another. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Cyril. Uh, I'm Cyril Bolbois. I can TV. That would be easier. Uh, I started being involved in Debian by translating and mostly reviewing translation for the French team, but I then moved to packaging, uh, graphics related stuff, and then games. And we've, had, we've spoken a bit with Sabotswa and Miriam Ruiz about uh, problematic uh, stuff in games, like um, translation only available through images, and the lack of a uh, maybe unified or standard way to get translation in the Windows world where uh, games um, author are developing uh, their, their games and I'm looking for a solution for a usable standard for Windows users maybe something different than get text or a two-way um, translating tool or something like that you go too. <laughs> I'm Steve Longershack. 
Um, I'm the guy you can't file a translation on his packages without him looking it over and trying to correct it for you. Uh, my involvement with internationalization has been somewhat limited, but uh, I have some specific pet peeves that I want to try to take care of this week, and so I'm looking forward to working with people on those. Hello, I am Ramone. Uh, I am Spanish. Well, I'm French. <laughs> uh, I am. I have been involved in local user group in Spanish, both one and other. Um, I am in the directive of three organizations like this, Urma, Palimus, and Good. Uh, in Debian, I have been working uh, two years in packaging uh, business, uh, managing software and accounting and Debian, Urma Fes. And a little bit of packages. And in translation, I have made little translation I'm Luke, and I'm uh, a release manager now. Um, I translated a uh, lot of packages and uh, uh, web pages into Dutch, but um, uh, I step back uh, as translator actually and, and more coordinating. Um, IATM efforts uh, in the release of uh, them. Um, I'm also a member of the admin team of the, of the server. Okay, I'm Gizu, a German guy, and I start for some years the translation of the DB package description. Now we have a new app in SIT, and I hope the running will be the next release. <laughs> And I hope also we can put all the stuff to put on. I think that's one thing that we should discuss um, this week um, on that comment. Yes, I think it's not. Okay. So I'm Nicolas Francois or Necrad on IRC. Uh, I'm maintaining some internationalization related uh, packages like Podeprom uh, for PO4A or Unputel. And I'm also translating and reviewing translation for the French team. And you're currently dominating the world. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, thanks. Uh, well, it was important, I think, to be sure that everybody knows each other. Um, you miss yourself, I think. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, uh, well. Uh, I'm Christian Perrier. How to pronounce it in English, by the way? Just like some, uh, good, good. some Osva or something. <laughs> so I'm not, meant, I'm not meant to be a DPL someday. Uh, well, my main interest in Debian is obviously internationalization, localization, because this is the only thing I can do. So this is why I'm in this stuff. Because as someone said a few, few hours ago, I, I have no programming skills. I suck at administering machines, so the only thing I can do is take an English string and put it into French. So well, you have to be able to program to maintain packages, isn't <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. This is why I, for instance, maintain a lot of packages not related at all with the localization such as Samba, but I have some backup there. Well, and my main point in all this stuff is to try to as we say in French, uh, faire prendre la mayonnaise to, to have all things work together and us to have the common goal. Uh, if I can summarize last year's DevCon, uh, we already had a few IATN sessions. Uh, the main conclusion was to decide to try building a common infrastructure. Uh, everybody knows that Ubuntu has Rosetta. This is a quite good tool in its uh, objectives. We all more or less agree that it has drawbacks when it comes at localization, especially around quality assurance and the like. So the idea was to build our own infrastructure in Debian instead of the various hacks we have all around to gather material 
available for translators. One of the challenges we have is to make this material available for potentially new translators. Around this table, we are many, many skilled people. We can gather things from the SBN for whatever place it can be. That's okay for us. But if we want to extend this to more languages, more cultures, we need to make things simple. And that was the point. And we finally decided to go on with Putov because of the good support of the WorkForge people and also because we can't go with Rosetta because Rosetta is non-free. Okay. Since then, we had this Extremadura meeting, thanks to Cesar and all the Extremadura region people. And it gathered us. We did set up a server, so it's working now. And since then, <laughs> Yeah, the, it did nothing. We did nothing with this tool. That's one of the challenges we have, is try to do something more with the server. Or at least with Puto. Actually, the server does a lot of work that many people do not notice. The material now you find in the Debian website is available because of script run on this server, because of the work of Toma Yoyo, who is not here currently because of the work of Felipe or Nicolas, some little bit I did also. And we have to do more with this thing. Chris who mentioned the package description translation. This is a huge challenge, huge amount of translation. The current system doesn't scale very well with a uh, load of work. So one of the challenge we have and hopefully this week is to try to import the material in Puto and the like. There are technical challenges, so we have some technical sessions to have. Another challenge we have is to give our beloved release managers some good release goals for Lenny, for ITN of course. Nicolas sent this morning a, a mail to the Debian IITN mailing list, which I suppose everybody around is subscribed to. <laughs> and well, the main point is to see if these release goals are acceptable for at least all of us, and if we can think of other release goals around IITN. And of course, uh, any other topic that may come. So the main point being here is uh, to decide how we will do that. <laughs> I propose a kind of daily work session. Would that be okay for everybody around? Of course, we are like uh, 20 people around, but three other people are welcome, and uh, we could just sit down at some place. Uh, it will be hard to schedule because the schedule is already done. So we may switch from time to time, but I would like to have it at the same hour daily. Do that know, fit with your schedule, guys? Do we know of an hour that works that doesn't conflict with other talks? It no. necessarily conflicts somewhere. No, there, is, I think. Okay. There, there is no space. Yesterday we rechecked the, during the Orga team meeting. Okay. There is always more than one hour using. Okay. Of the you know. Well. Can you just pick a time then, and obviously not everybody will make it every day. Yeah, I think so. I think so. We, we should do this. Or do this during the lunch time. Hard to do because people need to eat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you think like, how many hours are you thinking of? Two, three, four together? Well, uh, one, one hour I think is too short. Two, 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 so. two would be good, and then three hours you, you will be bored. I think we'll meet at lunch and then we continue after. After the dinner, it may be. I was thinking about 10 to 12. After dinner? Uh, huh? at, uh, <coughs> during the evening. Uh, so usually the evening we don't have talks, only boffs. We have only boffs in the usually, evening? Usually after dinner we only have boffs. Usually. Yeah. So we could imagine using one of the talk rooms. Why not? 
Well, I'm not with my notebook, so I can check that. But it's ah. possible the lower top room looks very nice. Yeah, the lower the one is, uh, seems to be nice to, nicer than the upper one. I think uh, easier for yeah. a small group. If somebody has access, check not on Penta but on, on, on Ganeth website. This is the updated version. And there are two versions, a uh, private one and an official it one. Is, uh, <laughs> <laughs> should, should be everything on Penta, but Penta sometimes doesn't answer as we would like. But as far as I see, there is nothing after uh, uh, six in the various top rooms. I, I thought the, 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 the knights were free for protection, so... Yeah, there are balls. SPI meeting tomorrow. I, I don't know if it's possible, but it would be great to know the topic of the of each day. Each day. Oh, I, actually, uh, I have no topic. Uh, it's <laughs> up to us to build a topic. <laughs> so yeah. we can set it up once now. That, that mm -hmm. could be a good point. We have, uh, okay, we are Sunday. So we can say there could be some, uh, an event tonight. Why not? Uh, Monday, Tuesday. Nothing Wednesday because, well, we could have one. No. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We can have up Thursday, to seven. Thursday, Thursday we can. Thursday is the same. The ah, it's the same. Dinner. Dinner. So no Thursday. So having one Wednesday would be nice. And that would make a six if we include Saturday. But maybe... Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of people living during Saturday afternoon. And uh -huh. see when people start So, leaving. well, at least five. Five or two hours is already quite good. Would be will it be okay for eight, eight p.m. Each then yes. Uh, see, uh, even earlier if we want. I have team meeting of the organization seven. When at seven? At seven after dinner. So. So eight seven. would be eight good for you. Yes. Yeah. Eight sounds fine. Eight is fine. So okay. Yeah. Let's decide for eight. And uh, the access to the Penta bar? Hey, sorry? You can en enter this in the Penta bar? No. Enter? Oh, okay. Enter. Yeah, yeah, I can. I can add this okay. to the Penta bar. Yeah, I, I, I talked to Mark Hymas and I said to him we would, we would schedule a daily meeting and I come back to him yeah. uh, after this this okay. meeting. So, uh, yeah, well, daily, talk. daily 8 in the lower talk room. Everybody knows where the lower talk room is? Okay. Uh, you just go down. <laughs> yeah, t t Follow the signs. There's already Follow the signs. Yeah. Yeah. T tonight there's already a meeting in the lower talk room. Oh. The uh, SPI board meeting. No, it's not in the lower. It's in the, it's in the lower buff room. Am I right? Mm -hmm. It's in the basement talk room. Uh, basement talk? For the SPI? Yes. Yes. Well, I this is Penta or this is York? This is York. Okay. Maybe we can define a, a meeting place and That's then try, try to find a place where yeah, we, we can talk together. The SPI yeah, meeting to, sorry, is tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah, to it's tomorrow, to but it's in the basement talk room. So we will move for tomorrow. Yeah. We can do it in the lower buff. Uh, I, I see that with the Mark Heiner. Okay, so eight uh, starting tonight. We can do it tonight. Okay, everybody was awakened. Uh, I think a schedule, as Chano said, would be good. So say, uh, okay, tonight we will work on this, that, etc., etc. What think that would be uh, make effective meetings because maybe I'm just interested in the technical part and yeah. the other mm -hmm. Yeah, parts. I think it would be better to just uh, uh, more than just say, okay, come and sit down and uh, we'll talk. <laughs> or we can try like extra Maduro, like we did in extra Maduro, some, some scheduling of yeah. people that... The sa with the same rules, laptops for bidder? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, I won't do it. You, you don't have your laptop. laptop. Hmm? You want your laptop this time. I want my laptop. <laughs> <laughs> Not yours. No, laptop, except yours. 
Ah, okay. Laptop will be okay. It's up to you guys to use it or not. Uh, uh, what would be good for tonight? Maybe first start on the release goals. I think this is probably what's expected by the release team. So Michael, Michael also sent a message about release goal, right? Who? Grisou sent a message. Grisou, okay. To have release to have. Yeah, Grisou sent one, and uh, Nicolas also sent one in uh, Debian IT. Then. Okay. So it's basically the same release oh. goals that. Uh, yeah, this was said about uh, DDTP, okay. package description stuff, and Nicolas gave a few more ideas which are interesting to discuss. But. So that's good. I think, uh, would, would you be okay for the, tonight, say the release goals for ITN? Okay. Yes. Um, my own wish for the next ones could be. Um, Put all and Chulo stuff at some moment. Yes, basically we have a lot of structure. We don't have much space, but we have space for room for people to do stuff over there. So there, one of one of the things that I'm going to do during this week on that phone is actually update the wiki of yeah. IATN to have all the info how we get. A how we get an account, how we get access, what's available, and all that stuff. So, and we will block that wiki to not have uh, duplicated documentation. It's, it's just for, for administration purpose, just for info. Yeah. The rest of the info should be on the Debian wiki. On the Debian wiki. The ITN doc on the Debian wiki. Shuro admin on the Shuro wiki. That's good. Uh, we could set a small summary for tomorrow, for Monday. Or so just have you uh, maybe do an overall presentation on what we have. Sure, I can do that. Mm -hmm. Maybe Nicolas can talk about what he's running. Mm -hmm. And Eddie also, your companion stuff on Chulo. Okay. I will show the various things that we import currently on input or? Do you do, do the part of Thomas then? Do you talk about Thomas or do you want me to talk uh, about Thomas? If you probably know Thomas part better okay. more than me. And uh, we keep space for a summary of what would be needed for importing Grisou's work. Yes, I, I still have the, the, the reports from Extremadura about how scary is important in the DPs. So, <laughs> well, just, just, it's just for everybody knows because almost nobody knows. We could only import one language uh, for for the whole DDP and put those top work. And, I we have, think and we have like 27. But it's, 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 it's much better now. Yeah, yeah, I oh think yeah, that Putol is, uh, is much better now. Nicola did an awful job of uh, Putol's people. So I think with, what we could also decide is to force you to upgrade Putol <laughs> and package the last Putol version. Yes, and upload it. And upload it. But I can upload it. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> No, but then you the, the, the version <laughs> testing the version in testing is newer than the version in Edge. The version in Lenny. Uh, because you can then you I, can just I can just backport it. I don't you. I don't think so, but the, the the package for the new version is uh, is done. I'm just thinking about uh, packaging the next one. Because it no, should I said come uh, <laughs> quite early, but Christian wants this one so but I think we need uh, we need something that's put yeah. all one o oh, o, oh. and if we, it would be too bad to wait for put all mm -hmm. one o oh, one. Okay, it would be better than one o yeah. o. Oh, oh. Because I can just upload backports for you. So. And the the performances of uh, put all one dot zero should be checked. Should be checked. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so but when, it, when should it, you it, check it? <laughs> It wasn't tested on uh, on a server with uh, twenty thousand of PO5. Mm. We have one. Yes. 
We have one. What the coincidence? Yeah. So yeah, that, yeah. that could be you the second part. The second part of the me of the. the Idea Yeah, we can use one or two more mm -hmm. if you want. Okay. Maybe we can buy a bigger hard drive too. So actually, it would be good if we have the new putter by tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, but we are not. No, but one we don't have to wait for you to yeah. officially release the Putol package in the archive. You can just uh, build one for... It already exists. Okay. okay, so yeah. you give it to Philip. <laughs> yes, just yeah. find an IRC and I'll install it. Okay, so that gives us a kind of Putol session on, uh, on Monday. Sure. Uh, I'm not sure we will be able to work on DDTP stuff at the same time. We, we need to save space for specific DDTP work. I, I don't know if there is much DDTP work to do. I think that we should have Grisu reintroduce all yeah. of us with how the DDTP works our, currently. Our, hidden, our secret plans for the future is having an i18n.deben.org, which will be in Poodle in the DDTP on that server. So that's one of the things that we have in mind. Like having our all our, our infrastructure over there. Yes, so. Yeah, so we, we know we are like, I like to switch all the translation and all the stuff to put it and shut down my own server. Okay. Mm -hmm. For this. Yeah. What we need to find is the, the bridge between the two the two ways to work the current DDTP that some teams already use. Yeah, they are using the DDTS. DDTSS. DDTSS. Yeah. DDTS. So, and they use it well, they are not used to it. So, we need to. A small summary by you, if you can, just an informal yes, summary I of. How, how is the DDTP now, what it is doing, and uh, what is the DDTS no and so on. And how do you produce PO files currently? And then we'll see how we can import the yeah. hmm? That could be on Tuesday. Tuesday. Have we uh, some whiteboard or something like this? Some? Some whiteboard to white. Uh, uh, whiteboard and install only only screen only screens and projectors but whiteboards they didn't install okay I, I would try to find a flip chart a oh, flip chart yes but not sure it has one if we have one I would it's hard to explore um, to, to say all the things but I must um, prepare some slides okay. uh, Wednesday, Wednesday is the tourist day, so do we plan something on that day? Will everybody come if we have a meeting at 8? PM? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the place is open. The place is open. No anyway. is, so is we can use the place. Uh, I, I would be there. Oh, anyway, it will rain, uh, so <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to go outside. Uh, uh, it's a boring city. Uh, they don't have I think maybe, maybe most people will come back to have the sponsored food. Yeah, I think so. So, so I think that uh, eight should be okay. So okay, eight Wednesday. What do we do? <laughs> well, we're talking about churro, puto, PPTP, uh Release goals. Release goals already. Then yeah, we we, we need probably to save the last meetings for conclusions. Well, maybe conclusions or things we don't have. We didn't have time enough to discuss. Uh, one of the things that probably you should address that is not addressed or should be addressed in the Google is the license again, license of translations for translations. Yeah. That's I mean, we will have the infrastructure, we don't have it, but we also didn't write like a couple of lines of policy to say that 
you should license your translations to be clear. But it's not a long thing, it's just mm -hmm. a short guideline. Well, I'm doing that in Brazilian Portuguese, but it's we, another thing that I would like to discuss and I don't have I don't know if we have much room for that is the website because we start changing a few bits of it and we start we are preparing now if I don't I didn't find Chelsea yet but I will try to find him because Dom's checking the licensing and I'm checking the W WML structure because we want to move it for a new website for new face and mm -hmm. all that but without all the hype of mockups and, and, and publish but uh, I would like to hear with the translators how the WML is important and, and if how we can change things without breaking everything so translation licensing website mm -hmm. website documentation does it fit together Awesome. Also, I think it's, that it's, it's Javier, Javier uh, Fernandez is not here, but he, he will come probably at the next sessions, and he would be interested if we have some discussion about uh, documentation. Yeah, because we are using several types of documentation now, like uh, Deb and Doc in some parts, Docbook XML in other parts, and probably. And sometimes it's translated. Uh, with PO files, sometimes it isn't, so it's not very mm -hmm. consistent all over Debian documentation project, I think. So that would be a lot for Wednesday, I think. <laughs> but you know, I mean, the website is just as small. It's not so the point is not really to present again what to do. I think we are more or less all aware of these things, but to change ideas again. To change, mm -hmm. uh, to try to find a way to... Try to find a way to... Uh, realistic goals, because we all have big ideas yeah. and yeah. we never achieve uh, half of them. Maybe some app maintainers on the .com? Uh, it, should, it should be here. Yeah. Maybe we should um, take one session with app maintainers to discuss um, the goals that Nicholas has in, in, in the email because of the T depths, um, translation de um, depths. Mm -hmm. I think that was, uh, yeah, that this is something. Uh, it's a big goal, and I think we yeah. should um, put together the translator and the release managers and the app maintainers yeah, to all discuss these the techniques about, yeah. and so yeah, the things about T devs. Let's let's call this T devs or one. Even if T dev is not, or not a good idea, I don't know. But because I remember the discussions between Eddie, uh, Javier at, in the yes. Extremadura, we have a good summary. I, I went on it recently. You did what? Well. Yeah, and we have a good summary on the wiki about these T devs with very good ideas. And someone was talking. I talked yesterday with Wookie. Yeah, with Wookie. And uh, we kind of rethought the whole idea. Mm -hmm. And the problem with, with TDEPS is that it increases really, really very in a very large scale the number of packages actually you have as it proposed, as it is proposed now, it would actually create one supplemental package for every pair of package. So you actually for every package you have as many supplemental packages as translations. So that, that would be huge. And on the other hand, um, what I've talked with Wookie was that maybe we should instead try to implement what uh, Scott James Remnant uh, suggested a while back, I think three or four years ago, when, when he talked about the PKG2 and creating some kind of classes of files within uh, every, every Debian package. So you actually you use some classification and you use some filters on those class of files. So on a default system you would actually install everything as you would usually, but if you want to have a custom thing then you would actually run filters. So you actually say, okay, these are these are Romanian translations, so I want all Romanian translations installed. Everything else, every other translation, 
drop is, it. This is basically the idea of, uh, yes. of uh, Ubuntu localization packages. Am I wrong? Uh, I think, I think URPC is also looking at, at dissociating the, the packages and hmm? doing updates separately. This is the same idea of marking packages like uh, config files inside the end, so it should be like removable files or... Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So actually you would have something like classified, classified types of files, you have mom pages, you have yes. documentation, or abstract classes like Yeah, this. it could be used for so, so more for things more than, than just the, localization. Just yes, uh -huh. that's why you can remove all this um, sla uh, um, slash uh, doc stuff and slash dev stuff. You can mm -hmm. make one library package, just have the own library and the separate the documentation separates uh, exactly. the dev uh, mm -hmm. files, separates yeah. the translation files. This way so we can work on during, on the same infrastructure with, with the, the MDBM people. So definitely we need a session for this, right? Yes. yes. Okay, we buy we one. We are Friday. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not sure, but maybe uh, I think the Wookiee schedule some meeting, but I'm not sure when. Okay, okay. So can you coordinate with Wookie to... I'm going to go there anyway. anyway. Yeah, but so that we don't uh, collide yeah, or yeah. do the same thing in, in two different uh, mm -hmm. sessions. So, okay, the responsible for this session is Eli. <laughs> the one for the translation. With, with Michael Wachty. Yeah, we need to bring Michael Wachty. Michael or Michel? How do you pronounce Michael in German? Michael. Uh, Michael. 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 Michael, and not, uh, Michael. Mi and not Michael Schumacher. No, no. Ah. Michael. Michael Schumacher. Mm. So Michael what? <laughs> so uh, we should bring him at the, this. Uh, anyway, I think it will, will be interested in most of the things, even if we say bad words about Rosetta in some places. But, uh, and say that Putur is better and the like. Okay, so yeah, it would be nice to have someone feeling more in charge for each session. So Eddie has been nominated for Friday about the dead and the like. Nominated as a volunteer. Yeah, yeah. I did. Uh, for Wednesday, Felipe is uh, nominated. Yeah, everybody? Okay. Yeah, after this. Uh, Meeting ends. You should send this yeah. notes yeah. to the list. To the list. Hmm? And uh, your volunteer for <laughs> <laughs> so the summary. I volunteer. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. For writing long and stupid, boring mails, I always volunteer. Uh, put a, yeah, the put up session could be. Who could manage the put up session? Nicola, yeah, good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Nicola is uh, okay it's for the Poodle session. And uh, the real goals, Luc, of course. <laughs> and uh, well, okay, we have real goals for Sunday. For Monday, we have Poodle. Everybody summarize what we already do on Poodle. Fine. So, sure, it's also Monday or? And uh, a more technical session about DDTP, DDTSS, uh, how to import DDTP into Putol could be on Tuesday. It's good, I think, to have it early because yes. afterwards we will want to work, to do technical work between probably Felipe, Grisou, uh, Nicola. I won't do any technical work. And you just crappy shell scripting. Maybe some guy will review my list is your American than you do. Okay, uh, for that part, that uh, DDTP stuff, we we'll nominate Rizu as responsible. Just uh, move the things, not the only one to speak. And uh, we can save uh, for the people who are still here on Saturday a kind of summary. Maybe we can schedule it earlier. It should be in the morning. In the morning? Yes. Before people leave. Okay. Waving at the hmm? I'm waving at the Okay. 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 <laughs> Fine. I'm living, I'm living on Friday. You're living on Friday. You? So, uh, I mean, it's, 
it's as likely the flight was three hundred dollars more cheaper. Okay, you don't stack. <laughs> <laughs> you save Debian's money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so well, a small on Saturday weekend would be good. When Just to summarize, when is scheduled the, the presentation of okay. Churro? Churro is on Monday together with Puro, or yeah, I Churro, it. Churro it, I would mm -hmm. call it a presentation on. Yes, presentation of the various uh, services. Yeah, or what what we yes. are already doing mm -hmm. on Churro is on Monday. Okay. Okay. Just before the cheese party, we have a collision mm -hmm. here yes. <laughs> because uh, the cheese party organizers are here. So <laughs> the cheese party is at. The ten on Monday. Okay. on Monday, and of course, all internationalization people are deep cheese lovers. So, <laughs> if you remember Extremadura, they could clean the room that the cheese is. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> but two they weeks, demolished it. Two weeks <laughs> later. <laughs> and I remember it this space. It was still smelling. <laughs> <laughs> I, I put a picture with me after eating that that cheese, cheese on my blog so you can you can enjoy it every time you want. Which review projects me talking about something to say words about it. Because it's after all it's all about English localization. So it's, uh, we can and we are and at least those we will discuss the NMU campaign. NMU campaign. Ah, interesting. Yes. Do I have any statistics on it? Okay, already. Uh, no, I I completely suck at keeping statistics or information. I, I just do the work and. No, I have no idea. I think it We was have some successful. small graphs. Uh, it's really the, the, the last week. Yeah, of the, because uh, uh, Nicolas did campaign. set up something. Yeah, but this year you have, right? It, it has been generated. Yeah, it's working. Yeah. Yes, no, it's working every day, so we, we will have the, the graphs. After one year we have nice <laughs> But we, we, we only have oh, the... This year, this year we will share the load of the NMU campaign. I could be nice, yes. <laughs> Very much appreciated, yes. <laughs> And this way you could work to have uh, Brazilian Portuguese 100 persons. I will try. <laughs> we are no longer 100 persons, I'm afraid. <laughs> and thanks to the Smith Review Project, I think the statistics are lowing. Okay. And shall we, shall we talk about fonts? Or input methods? Yeah, we, uh, yeah. The, uh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe the interaction with the two teams? And, but, 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 I mean, uh, could be part of the release concept. Hmm? Yeah, the, the, the point is, uh, well, this uh, font packaging team, I launched it without knowing anything about fonts. Mm -hmm. But it's great so, results. Okay, it's working, <laughs> it's and really we much. have now the, well, the load is slowly taken by Nicolas, so I will rest <laughs> and sleep. <laughs> That's good. Uh -huh. and Yes, there are a lot of things to do about font stuff mm -hmm. and the interaction. I, I don't know if we have still room to talk about that. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe, I think, um, is there a policy on uh, what translators are, uh, are using? I mean, let's say a new translator wants to use Qt, or is there going to be a recommendation on a particular font to use or particular input methods? Or is the CSS in, uh, in Qt itself? Going to have fallback for other fonts, or I think has there been the, something in that? There, there may be something defined like that. I think the the put old guys are trying to to gather some information about uh, various languages. What is the the preferred font, the yeah. preferred size, and other stuff yeah, like? That's really uh, crucial information. Uh, is it possible to to underline some some text or just in some languages? If you underline the, the text. Just not readable, so you have to, to yeah. use another trick. Yeah. Sometimes there are sizes, and uh, sometimes you you need to have the browser also uh, understand some languages. There there are some rendering issues sometimes. So, so I'm pretty sure they, they are aware about the problem. Mm -hmm. I don't know how it is implemented in the Poodle server okay. because it's more the the word for guy who, who work on that. Yeah. As Matthew, I've discussed a, a, this a bit uh, at the uh, Open Office uh, conference in Lyon, mm -hmm. uh, but. Maybe that could be an item on the on the on the teams to the list uh, to 
to see. I mean, uh, Christian, you showed me the uh, the page of the wiki where there are the uh, uh, lists of recommended fonts or fonts being used in the installer. But um, would it be useful to have like a um, a big poll among the translators asking for their their input? I, I prefer this font because it works better for that, and maybe have that in the, in the same wiki page. I think, I think that would be useful, and also for the for the font maintaining uh, yeah. maintaining team to kind of identify which fonts would be most yeah. usefully packaged, or if there are fonts that are restricted, then maybe contacting the upstream that is saying, okay, oh, it would be great if we could have and this kind of overlaps with to the phone choosing procedure in Debian install or the graphical install. I'm probably it, it, the, uh, the, the page uh, Nicolas was talking about is the page about Google yeah. phones maintained by David Eviti. Ah. And mm -hmm. so, uh, yeah, we have to be careful about not overlapping, but David is already involved in the package. It's very active in the, in the, in the and okay. So that I don't think it, it would overlap. Uh, actually, me being in the in the font uh, is kind of uh, an attempt to avoid forking uh, efforts. So yeah, there there there's a lot of things to do. Uh, there has been a discussion recently on the package fonts about uh, the various fonts uh, for Chinese language and yeah. Chinese related languages because there are some complex issues I don't understand anything at about uh, this stuff. There are technical issues as well as, as legal and, and as thing issues, but uh, yeah, I think it would be useful to, to be able to identify yeah. where, where the work should happen. And, but I mean, maybe it's, it's a different kind of use case. Maybe the, the fonts that you would use uh, that are best for the installer might not be the fonts that you use on your browser when yeah. the system is installed or the fonts that, that you use to, to print. That's related to the installer yeah. because when you choose to install, say, yeah. in uh, in Japanese, you want the best part for Japanese, so there, this is related to task cell, yeah. to, the, to the localization tasks, what to install, uh, every config. This has relation with the two the localization config, doesn't it? Uh, I, I think personally that localization config is dead. Uh, the point of this package for those who don't know about it is was to uh, tune the final steps of localization, but it touches every package configuration file. So by definition, it's completely bro policy broken. Mm. So it should be RC. It should not be in, in testing. And it is not, if I remember. We filed a RC bug at the end of uh, HWIL cycle about it. It seems that the Debian Edu people are in still interested in it, but I, I think after I, I maintain it for a while, it's not necessarily the correct approach to 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 configure other packages according to localization. We better have this package behave properly to have GDM respect the local settings. Uh, Etc. So no, I'm not sure it's related to localization. No, I don't because it goes out of the full font. It's closer to task cell and these things, I think. And finding the right font to incorporate in a given localization task is very, very difficult. I think. That's why especially for complex mm -hmm. languages, That's not, why not I think all non-Latin languages actually. From, from the translators and from the people in the communities that use these languages, I think they are the, the best people to, to give us that kind of information. Because even the, the best designers won't know uh, the, uh, the, the right consistency or the, the way a particular, particular script should appear. Uh, you have to ask the people we know. I mean, that's obvious, but maybe setting up a project. Uh, and apparently, on this issue, uh, the, the, the efforts. With uh, are more or less joined with uh, Ubuntu people. Yeah, on the Ubuntu side, there, there's also so a review going on. Yeah, some of them joined the font packaging mm -hmm. team recently, and Matt Zimmerman launched 
a little discussion about uh, font and the, the big mess of fonts in Debian and yeah. Ubuntu also. The future of the format and, and all that. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but um, it reminds me that Michael Vogt, Michael Michael Vogt, Vogt. Sorry. <laughs> uh, um, I had, um, uh, had a script also uh, to do font config configuration, especially for CJK languages. So not exactly look like uh, config, but an approach that would just touch the font config configuration according to the account, especially for complex scripts. And this is, but, yeah, this is something I, I here, yeah, what uh, you uh, mentioned when uh, you introduced yourself, this is something we might need more input for, from the communities, yes. uh, of, especially in the CDK languages communities, because uh, the knowledge is, uh, is somewhat rare. It's, it's really distributed. Yeah. yeah, actually, I was just talking to the people in Taiwan, and they would be interested in participating in your working sessions. Mm -hmm. but in the evening is a bit late for them. It's like yes. 3 a.m. 3 a.m. in the morning. So, so if you are going to have this font and input method uh, working session, maybe you can branch it um, in the morning. About midday, it would be fine. Mm -hmm. Midday or early afternoon, mm -hmm. it would be great for them. Mm -hmm. That would be nice also for the people working on input methods uh, in uh, South Asia and yeah. India or all yeah, surrounding so like countries. Yeah, uh, maybe you would like to work together or well, in, uh, in Extremadura, we had uh, Karunaka, uh, who is uh, one of the real specialists of uh, input methods. <laughs> so uh, we need to involve all, the, all these people. Uh, the difficult part is to follow what he's explaining because he's big fans. It's really tricky. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, they do a tremendous job. In this this part and we need a lot of people involved in the all complex languages, uh, all the BB stuff. Uh, we discovered recently broken stuff in DI about BB. You never yeah. noticed. Balush, Balush uh, reported by Yeah, that, that's a, also a challenge because uh, I think the main challenge for Debian or all open source so-called open source uh, stuff is uh, lies in, uh, in Asia, in Africa. Complex scripts. The war is already lost in Europe anyway, so... <laughs> <laughs> yes, there are so many items uh, in, in the yeah, stack, I mean, from the stuff, yes. input method to the, to the font, to the, to the rendering. I mean, so many things need to work together. Uh, it's, uh, it's quite okay. yeah, and there are tons of languages. <laughs> oh, this is the ethnologue. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Terms you guys know, all know about the Ethnologue website, yeah. the Bible for the people working on IT. Huh? Okay, someone comes with a strange language, and you see you have the entries and statistics and maps and things. Yeah, like I, I spend a whole day in Ethnologue, <laughs> probably. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I, I there, there are projects also to to oh. kind of create the same uh, database. Uh, uh, big database of uh, writing systems. So this is four languages, and uh, where they're spoken, what family they belong to, and so on. Uh, but we, SIL um, and people contributing, and like me, would, um, are working on, on setting up the same for writing systems. So you'd have an entry also, uh, like the font, the recommended font for that language, the recommended writing system. So also kind of a source forge for uh, writing systems. But it's it's still in the works. I'll I'll uh, I'll mention uh, some of the work done in that area at the front. Uh, we should talk. keep some time to talk about SIL specifically. It's, uh, it's not really about SIL. Yeah, it's what SIL yeah, wants to do. <laughs> but it fits uh, uh, the Debian philosophy. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're working on it. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, so yeah. you guys are all okay for IT land sessions yes. yep. in the yes. evenings. Yeah. Good. And Nicolas will package Puto in two hours. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and we will have it on Churro. I, I just checked this morning and Churro was completely dead. The Puto server was not working and no one noticed. Really? I just had to restart them. The Puto server or the Churro?
the Putos. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So just connecting on uh, port uh, 88. Do you want to have something? Check it. Yeah. It oh, okay. Sorry, sure. I didn't know. <laughs> you should have. <laughs> <laughs> You're the admin. I'm the user. <laughs> so if you're interested, I'll get some five five for me. We should plan to have, uh, if that's possible, uh, an Extremadura meeting again. I think it would help us to advance again on all these things and maybe focus it on a specific program. I think that advancing on Puto would be a good target and very specific meeting with a few involved people would be nice. So we need to to keep this in mind and to see with uh, I had in mind to make it at the end of the year. But it will happen this year again, it's yes. already yeah. Yeah, yeah we talk about that. If we if you're not aware we reported about the meetings, all the Extremadura meetings, we reported them in uh, February mm -hmm. the uh, uh, Free Software Fisa World Conference. Uh, so the all the six meet Debian meetings were Presenting them. If it's in December, it would be a good time to see what's the status of the release codes and if there yeah. are new it fits the It fits the release uh, schedule, yes. So, targeting something in late November, December, or something yeah, would be good. Okay, so we, we keep time for, for this, at, at least at the final meeting. Okay, you're free. That's great. <laughs> great, thanks. Uh,